Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here in California in anticipation of the upcoming Libertarian Party State Convention to be held in Long Beach. And I know this might seem like uh, a bit of a, a rambling video because I've got a lot of related thoughts to this central theme I'm about to present. But I do think that there is an important conclusion that you take away when, when you see these all together. So uh, I'm reading a book right now called Crypto Shrugged. And it hasn't been released yet, and I'm reading it because I've been asked to write an introduction for it. I'm only about a quarter of the way through it, and there are a couple of mentions of the Anarchapulco conference. And it's already a fascinating story, but it talks about people working behind the scenes, developing cryptocurrencies, uh, and sometimes uh, in certain parts of the story, working for various government agencies, creating government-based cryptocurrencies. And... The part about Anarchapulco had me realize, and I guess you could say this is the central theme of this, is that those of us who uh, command the most attention, people who make the most noise online, uh, the people who are anchors on television, who have popular podcasts or radio shows or YouTube channels or whatever the case may be, podcast blogs, but even politicians, that we are the chattering class, so to speak. And it's funny to think that politicians even uh, are more a subset of the chattering class than the, I guess you would call it, getting shit done class. And there, there really is an important distinction here because and it, I, the important part for me is a, a sort of reminder of humility of, of what I'm doing. And, and one of the sort of big sidebars to this is you know, what we are going through right now is a course of human evolution is uh, an evolutionary process. It is the product of forces of nature bigger than any individual. The achievement of a voluntary society is not going to happen because Adam ran for president. No, of course not. If it happens, it's going to happen inevitably. Uh, all we can do as individuals is decide what side of that line of progress we're going to be on, which is going to be more enjoyable and satisfying and, and self-actualizing for us. And for me, the answer to that question is obvious, that I want to be on the side of human progress and evolution and, and, and peace and freedom and love. I want to work humanity uh, or, or apply my energy in life to, to help move humanity forward in that direction rather than, than hold it back in any way. And so... Uh, it's, it's important to remember that, that you have to find that satisfaction in the moment in what you're doing. You have to really enjoy the process as well, because if you don't, you're kind of ruining the point. But, but also, you know, a, a lot of people are driven by wanting to be remembered or to make their mark. And I have to say, there's, there's a big ego part of me that is inspired, like, yes, I got to make my mark on history and I have to do something significant. But ultimately, the, the, the world that we're achieving is going to be driven so much more by technology. I mean, you look at just another here sidebar that I just want to talk about, but uh, we get self-driving cars. I mean, just that and we have the technology already. It's really just government that's slowing us down so much. But we, and if it wasn't for government, we'd easily say that we'd have self-driving cars by now. I mean, we'd be way, 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 probably self-flying cars by now. We'd be way, way, way ahead of that. But at very least, right, self-driving cars. When police have no excuse to pull you over, then how much of the government racket goes away? How much of the drug war goes away? You know, and, and I talked to a former police officer recently. Said, "Yeah, man, if it, if it, you know, when when it when it comes to that, that's that's just most of it is just gone. Uh, it is it's just a huge part of the government racket that is falling away. Obviously, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and and that's kind of what I wanted to point out uh, from my epiphany from from this uh, aspect of crypto shrug that that we the chattering class uh, are, are are really much less significant." to this course of human progress than the innovating class, the entrepreneurial class. And, you know, maybe we, we I, th I think in general, we like to overestimate our role in all of these things, that, that it is, uh, you know, the, the politician who takes the credit. And, and I love using Trump as an example here because you would think, and, and I would agree that there is one good thing that came out of 2016 in Trump's campaign, and that is that it fundamentally shifted America's relationship with the mainstream media. But in a sense, Trump was doing that great political thing of just taking credit for other people's work. And it's really people like Alex Jones, like the Young Turks, like all the smaller outlets, like Adam versus the Man back in the day, you know, challenging the mainstream media narrative. 
that made it possible for a politician to ride that wave. And I made the point before, I'm not going to get into all the, the hows and whys it's, it's possible, but Hillary Clinton uh, could have ridden the same wave and said, you know, I love my friends in the mainstream media, but the independent media, that's really where it's at. You know, I, I think she could have pulled it off too. And uh, of course, Trump beat her to it and masterfully so. But similarly, if we get to the point where humanity is ready to uh, decentralize government, to localize government, uh, it's not going to be because, you know, people like me got up and made a lot of noise or said, yeah, I'm running for president to dissolve the federal government, even if that's how it plays out. And we're able to win and carry out that peaceful orderly process. It could be that there's a collapse first, but if it does happen uh, because government is rendered obsolete by self-driving cars and cryptocurrency, then it's probably not going to be that bad of a collapse. So really what, what we're talking about is just, you know, applying ourselves to be the, the best that we can in terms of contributing to that, that great movement of humanity forward. Um, I just wanted to put it in perspective for people to, to make it clear that it, it's not really, uh, you know, those of us who make the most noise who deserve the most credit usually. And uh, that doesn't mean that, that people shouldn't be making noise because some people are better just making noise and calling attention to things. And I hope that, that that's a big part of what we can do, you know, as activists is call attention to the injustice of, of the world. But the innovators who, who make that injustice just impossible, obviously, they're the ones who are having a, a much greater impact than any of, us, any of us working in the, you know, make a lot of noise, chattering class kind of sphere. So... Um, I, I hope that helps people think about, you know, what, what we're doing as activists. I mean, I, I, I think the greatest inspiration that I get in, in feedback from my work is not like, oh, that was entertaining, Adam, or, oh, I really loved that video and saw how you blah, blah, blah. You know, no, like what, the, the, the feedback that, that's meaningful for, for me is hearing people say, you know what, Adam, I, I listened to, to what you had to say and it changed my perspective on the world and it made me want to live a different life and it inspired me to, to be at least an innovator in my own sphere, to be the engineer of my own life, the entrepreneur of my own happiness, all of those wonderful, fluffy ideas of self-realization. But ultimately, that's, you know, that's got to be what it's all about, humanity moving itself forward and all of us as individuals seeking better lives. So um, I, I hope that we all take that as a note of humility and encouragement at the same time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Mwah. Peace, love, and freedom. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.